Hello everyone and welcome back to well rather just welcome to Stomnautica Below Zero. I am joined today with by Doc and Dark. Hello. Howdy there! Uh. <coughs> <laughs> That's quite the greeting. People um, should already know me by now. Probably. Yeah, let's see Hardcore no. What? It's gonna be a bitch about it. Not quite. It's just that having to start from square one every time I die would be rather annoying for a, you know, setting, YouTube kind of setting. Also, can I have a pet penguin? Or whatever those things are. You can kidnap one! I was about to say, judging from what we already know, no! But you can kidnap one and keep it until they decide to let you. Fair enough. Close enough. You, you are coming with me. You are going to be my friend now. You're going to sit in this locker until I find- until I have an aquatic habitat to stick you in. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, let's see what kind of deep shit we're into this time. Deep shit or dumb shit? Why not both? I mean, our ship's probably not gonna crash into the planet this time because we disabled that thing, right? Grrrr. Also, it bothers me that the ship in, out there in space in the loading screen had an open door. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bus, Listen, Robin. listen. You sure you want this? just need to go out and, and go for a walk. and everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. Hmm. I'll find my way back. She's determined. Approaching 45 oh, 46 feet. Surface temperature is Drop pod deployed. Well done. Just from right into the making fun. So what was that about not gonna crash land this time? Or about it. Yeah, at least they didn't just completely fucking destroy the spaceship. If you try hard enough, all you gotta do is tell the asteroid to get out of your way. Wow, my dumbass didn't even notice that shit. Look, I changed the settings so that it highlights things. So, I do have that advantage. Retreat to a safe environment. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Safe. Are we talking about the relative, relative version of safe? Yes, very relative. Alright, that's the Not Bitcoin, inventory... Alright, I, I keep forgetting the map, the map I had on the other game was, uh, was from a mod. Like, alright, I have no fucking clue what the fuck is that. That did not go as planned. Should I be worried about I that I should thing? find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Look at your temperature. The plants are what's keeping you from freezing to death. Oh. Also, please unequip the flare. Oh, leave it on. Oh. Right, I just had to press one. I was thinking oh. about how to unequip that. Y'all want bitches. Thank you, 
then I would stop ow, first. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, don't get that close to them, got it. They keep you warm from a distance. That means they're significantly warmer up close. <laughs> so I noticed. We Are you sure? I feel like I feel like I feel like you could get closer to test that. I was literally physically unable to get any closer. Sounds like quitter talk to me. I cannot get back up the can. Oh yeah I can. Game about ocean survival. Avoid going into the ocean as long as possible. Look, I played. I have played some Nautica, okay. Here be here be monsters. Not in the starting area. Doesn't look like I have much of a it's choice anyway. Just, it's when you get just outside of the starting area that. Wow, you have it highlighting fish. Discovered. It just highlights everything that's interactable, so I don't really get to choose. New creature discovered. I should probably get in here once I remember how. There's a door. Is this the you, door? You're looking, Ran. You are looking literally Oxygen. everywhere but where the door is. You have gone to literally every face of that thing, except the one that the door is on. Shut up. I am impressed. Found the drop pod. Hey, it's even unlocked. Drop in the ocean. Yeah, that's a drop pod, right? I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. That's something. Lillian Bench, huh? Robin, guess what? Well, I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, hmm. I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> Potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. <laughs> anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Alright. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kinda like that. But it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> Well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing <laughs> me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy penguins. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... You, actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but... Anyway, um... I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but... You've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you. Get into work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. 
Later, baby sis. Love you. I didn't do the early beta thing, so I'm kind of curious about hey, Robin, stuff that happened. I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking so, you know, care of him. I might just he's a cranky start but hey, at least checking this The nickname messages. actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not. Welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Well, that explains why we're in Altera to begin with. Hey, Robin. <sighs> I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh. And I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway. I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should hmm. just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. She said that last part a bit too... Like, I think she used that every time, but oh, anyway. Uh, let's see, stuff to craft, inventory, okay. Oh, right, I can pin recipes and stuff. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. So, there's my so the first recipe you're gonna want to pin is the scanner. <laughs> no shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. It'll be under tools. Tools, right. And I might as well get like that and that pinned up. Uh, don't bother pinning the compass yet. You can't get far enough to get the silver for the wiring kit. You are going to want to pin the standard O2 tank, though. Yeah, I thought so. You're also going to want a knife. Fair enough. Right. Stabby stick. I can craft water and cook some food, but otherwise I'm kind of... Yeah. For... Okay. So, for the love of all that is holy, please... 
Don't cook the bladder fish into food. Fair enough. That's for water, right? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. <laughs> They're for crafting batteries. Should be able to use this. Useful. By the way, I'd make sure to keep one ribbon plant in reserve. Okay. Huh. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily. By the way, you can close the PDA and she'll keep talking. Tools and, huh. and your thing will keep playing. In another situation like Byzantos Five, when Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Man. What's that room? Not something I can get for it. Yeah, battery. I should probably have just marked the battery as well, huh? Uh, you just need copper. Like, right, you I can only there. keep a certain number of recipes. <laughs> I think you might already be at the max. That's an adult. You can't kidnap the adults. You can only kidnap the babies. <laughs> you make it sound so pleasant. Right. Oxygen. So this is a battle I'm being constantly worried by all the sounds around me. I mean... No. Have you seen what's down in the water? You mean that? Even is that. Either way, I need to find some. Congratulations, progress, so... you're still in the safe area. Let me pick you. Hey, copper! Congratulations, you found copper. Just need one oh, no. more. Uh, you only need one copper for a battery. Oh. Oxygen. But you could use more. Let's go craft a battery then. There it is. Alright, I need two of the plants. Personal to scanner. Alright, I have a scanner. Yay! I can scan and things now. You've also you've also unlocked the, her log about it. Her logs are actually kind of interesting. In goes a battery in titanium, out comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating... Remember, you can close but... the PDA and I keep can't listening. I wait to learn about them. I keep forgetting. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Yeah, I definitely need to get that O2 tank. <laughs> yeah, you Where kind of need... Helpful? You kind of need a knife, which means you need to go out of the safe area. Have fun! I mean, to be fair, there's nothing like too terribly dangerous in the immediate area, even outside the safe zone. Yeah. Oxygen. I'm just somewhat used to having a map from the first game. Oh, yeah, I need something to eat, don't I? I mean, you have the prepackaged nutrient bars that you started with. Yeah, but those. I feel like I should save them up. Save them? For what? Uh, for when it's an emergency. Not like 
like it through the miners probably. Apparently I grabbed a lot of hogfish. Yes, because they're slow and easy to catch. Fair enough. Mm. Mm. By the way, as soon as you cook a fish, eat it. Oh, they run out or something? Yes. They spoil very quickly. There. Well, that's why I feel like, sh like I should save up the... You know. See, what I did was I just always got peepers because I know how much they satisfied my food when they were cooked, and I'd just cook them as I needed them. Or I'd get the... Or, you know, once I unlocked the uh, thing that gives you salt, I'd just make cured peeper. Hmm. Because salty... Because salty fish is a good fish. Oxygen. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, there's the penguins. Penguins? Whatever. The mother sister. The penguin! What matters is kidnapping you, one. The thing that you That's kidnap. Cool. Just remember, they're highlighted as interactable. I noticed. <laughs> It's mine now! <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Cannot scan parts, good to know. Alright, get this mouse again. You need a cutting from a creep vine, which means you need the knife, which means you need to go and get seeds from a creep vine. So I see. That is not a creep vine. New creature discovered. I imagine creep vines should be relatively easy to see in the dark. Yes, they also delineate the area between no monsters and monsters. Wonderful. I mean, really the only thing you'll run into in the creep vine area is bull sharks and those aren't, or brute sharks and those aren't that bad. They're a mile. Oh, you will also run into sea monkeys. Fuck They're those guys. <laughs> They're assholes. Why didn't you scan either of those limestone chunks? Because I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, that we know. Oxygen. I've oh, seen you play La Milana. <laughs> and I know that game. Yes, and you're good at that game. Or what passes for good. Like, alright, I should probably avoid going under the big giant iceberg in case I'm running out of oxygen. Nah. Come here, people. New creature discovered. Arctic paper. Oh, hey, there's a thing in that scan. Damn it! <laughs> it doesn't really help you because you already know what comes out of it, but still. Yeah. Oh boy, it's raining. It's hailing! Uh, 
they still haven't fixed that bug. Um, okay. <laughs> Whatever it was there, I guess I'm not getting it. Brother, it is stuck in the terrain! Yes, exactly. My question is, I don't actually even know which direction to go to. <laughs> Pick a direction and keep going instead of swimming back to your, uh, swimming back towards your habitat every few seconds. Look, this is Subnautica. You I'm are scared. You are literally going in a circle around your habitat. Look, this is Subnautica, okay. It doesn't help that every so often I hear sounds from something large, and I have no idea what it is. Oh, that's It's creepy. okay, you're not... It's okay. You're not supposed to know. You're supposed to be scared. Exactly. The that fear is I what was... summons them. In that sense, I would say I'm doing an incredible job at it. Yeah, that's creep mine, all right? I don't see any... Uh, you have to look for the. You have to look. They're going to be glowing and red. Oxygen. You cannot miss them if they are actually there. Okay. So keep. Going Especially at night. at night. So they're just aren't any on those. That's a, another thing big deep in there that I would like to avoid. Yeah, those are some seeds. And that's a bull shark. Again! Again. Whatever. It's going somewhere. Again, else. glowing and red. You cannot miss them. Ran, put your scanner away. Oxygen. Ran, put your scanner away. Oh, keep it out. What could go wrong? Oh. I just barely made it out of that. Uh, you still have a good like five to ten seconds after it beeps to Yeah. I don't remember, can you like grow plants in this game to have closer access to stuff? Yes. Okay. But you have to get the habitat builder first. Yeah, fair enough. I just didn't also, remember. Also, Ran, as soon as you get a chance, check your inventory. Oh, they are large. Picking up that many. <laughs> yeah, picking up that many was not the best idea. Eh, it's fine. And I got a fuck ton of entries. How, how do I mark them as red? Oh, I guess I just needed to scroll down. Yeah. Hey, at least I have it scanned! Uh, anyway, I need... This thing, yeah. Might as well make two of it, because you also need it for the fins. Yeah. I imagine the reason you told me to put the scanner away was because of sea monkeys. Yes, I heard the sea monkey chittering, and it made the chitter that it makes when it's about to steal your shit. <laughs> well, I have a knife and a fence now. I should if you hear the sea monkeys giggle, put away whatever's in your hand, because they're about to steal it. Because they're oh, assholes. That's fair. Some weathering. Oh yeah, I can probably just unmark 
antes, antes, antes. Hey, I did get that a lesson. Yeah, now I just need to go and stop the creep line, basically. Yeah. And you don't have to stab one that has a seed cluster, it can be literally any creep vine. Cool. Not like I remember where I found them anyway, so I guess I'll just... You know, look around. So this is I'm gonna give I... you a hint. If you hit a giant iceberg, you've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Fair enough. There's literally only two ways out of the starting area. Into the creep vine forest and into a giant iceberg. By yeah, the way, those are bulky as fuck too. Oh, Congratulations, you've filled your inventory with useless shit. So I did. I still need to go find one more piece of. Stop it, game! <laughs> Don't be afraid, they're only out to get you. Yeah, you know, specifically me. I mean, they're out to eat the other uh, smaller creatures as well. Except the sea monkeys. Nothing ever seems to pr do prey, prey on the sea monkeys. Except me, because fuck those guys. That's a shame. Oh well, I got thing now. By the way, you can eat the other. Mm -hmm. First aid kit! It looks like you're debating between the first aid kit and the uh, oxygen tank. I'm just looking at everything else. Glass and By the way, I'd go ahead and make the air bladder because it's a good way to get up when yeah, you need to get up. Probably a good idea. Both priorities. You can make both. Adding additional yeah. blueprints to your data thinking. bank. Oh. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, <laughs> the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. I should not be so amused by that. I was oh, okay. amused too. Oh, cool, it out or equipped. By the way, I'd go ahead and eat that extra creep vine sample. That one? Yeah. I guess you can also. Some... You also have a locker that you can store those other two creep vine seeds. Yeah, I was thinking of using the floating air pump. No, I guess that's probably useful if I want to have like checkpoints or something. Does the wearing? All right, silver. Um, I might as well pin that and that. What else do I need? I guess the flashlight. A repair tool sounds like it might take a bit to be able to make. But hey, I got stuff and things. I'm storing that. And I guess I might as well store the quartz. I can't just use the storage directly to craft, right? I think. No. Huh? Huh. No. You have to take it out of the storage, but... That's annoying. Alright, I probably had a mod for that as well in the first game. At least water I don't need to drink in me early, right? Something. There. And with that bit of progress, I think it's a good time to call the first episode. So yeah, hope you all have fun. And next time we will, I don't know, try to survive, I guess. I'm gonna go get food before we start the next episode. Yeah, anyway, goodbye.